Today we're here with a John Deere S670 combine. I will be showing you how to set up and adjust your grain loss monitor system. So your display will be showing you the actual losses. Hello, how are you doing? Right now we can see at the center of our loss monitor screen that there's only one bar showing. So this very moment we're not sure if our loss calibration is inaccurate or that we could just increase harvest speed. Just remember, always drive a good 40, 50 meters before we start adjusting the display, just to make sure the combine runs stable. Let's go! I just dropped my grain pan. We're doing a little less than 1% in losses, but it's acceptable for us. I will go back up to the combine and adjust my display accordingly. I just had a look at my test pan and it looked pretty good. So now I'll we'll adjust my display accordingly. To calibrate the loss sensors, we go to the combine main screen, we go to the settings page, it will show you all your loss monitor settings. Then we'll push out the metric calibration button. And this button will only take the actual value of that moment. So that's why we have to be driving at least 30, 40 meters before hitting the automatic calibration button. And as you can see right now, the bars are jumping up and right into the green area. And this is exactly where we want to be. So now we can just speed up a little bit or we can see when we have to slow down a little. And also on the display, we can see right now that the sieve losses are a little higher than separate the losses and there is an option in the screen to balance this out so we can get an equal fishing on the fishing track. Now that our grain loss monitor system has been set up, it's a lot easier for our driver to adjust his harvest speed according to the crop conditions.